So this started off as one painting and it ended up as a different painting. Um, I was attempting to do some watercolour and doodle flowers in a vase. Um, trying to use just really circles as much as possible. Um, however, it all went a bit wrong as per usual. <laughs> um, so what's happened is I've gessoed the paper and then I've used a white oil pastel to create some um, resist areas. However, I have used a bit much of the oil pastel because it was supposed to represent the stalks, the stems of the flowers. However, it's very, very thick and a much narrower line would have um, worked much better, I think. So I'm using blue grey, burnt sienna, yellow okra and grey um, watercolours um, and what I've done is because the vase, I've, the stalks going into the vase, I've also had the white oil pastel to use as a resist, it actually takes up most of the bottom half, bottom left half of the page. So. I was trying to do like a negative effect where I thought, right, well, I'll paint in a round to give the suggestion of a vase. Yeah, that, that didn't work. Um, but I did keep persevering with it and making it worse and worse. Um, I really do like the the circles that represent the the flowers, though. Um, just wish the oil pastel resist was a little bit... Um, narrower um, so yep there's the tissue paper out to try and help there was just too much oil pastel on the paper and the texture of the oil pastel with the gesso I think the combination there was just less is more when it comes to the oil pastel resist for the future There we go. Just really adding to the mess now. Um, although it all does come good in the end, as you can see in the picture on the right hand side. Um, what I end up doing is I end up actually getting the gesso out and actually gessoing over the top of these large areas that I've just painted and um, and over the oil pastel vase area to try and um, minimise the impact of the oil pastel. But before that, I do add some colour into the flowers to try and give a sort of pansy type effect. Um, there's just not enough room with those oil pastel lines. Um, but I still like them, so I do rescue these um, flower heads <laughs> from this picture once I've destroyed it a bit more. That's what these art journals are about anyway. It's not about creating a masterpiece, it's about experimenting, trial and error, learning what works, what doesn't, what half worked. Oh. The Posca pens, yeah. I thought, oh, I'll try them over the oil pastel. Um, no, I, I, that would just ruin the pen. But I just keep trying anyway. I think I get out... Oh, no, there's the gesso. Actually, really quite nice. The gesso and the watercolour paint mixed together. It gives a kind of... Um, almost like a stone effect. No. So actually I do use this because in the picture on the right hand side at the bottom it's actually that bottom area was used to create the vase. So that's me ripping off the piano wash washi tape. 
um, just trying to blend in the gesso to give a less sharp edge. Um, you do need to be careful. I try and limit the amount of paint brushes I use for gesso just because I don't want them ruined. I thought I could maybe use the the Posca pens to try and create almost as if the stalks, once they left the flower heads, had turned into the doodles. Um, that didn't work. So this is some acrylic paint that I'm applying. It's actually Sennelier. I think that's how you pronounce it, Sennelier, which do a very, very expensive oil pastels. However, I think this student grade acrylic paint and it's great value and I think it's great to use. So I really liked parts of the last painting and I really liked what I was trying to achieve. It was just more um, amateur errors. <laughs> um, so what I thought was I would try and create one of the unbalanced abstract composition pieces by using a very tiny vase at the bottom and the big flower heads at the top to create the illusion it's off balance. Yeah, So I put a little bit of the Mod Podge on top of the orange flower in the middle with the navy centre and it just smudged it so the, the, the Mod Podge went on the bottom after that only. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did try and create um, that abstract composition style because I do want to try the different composition styles just obviously from the point of view as an amateur. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it, it's, you know, it's exciting learning about it. Um, so I felt the one stock wasn't enough and I felt it looked more like a bunch of balloons with just the one stem so it did help add in the other two but it was still missing something so actually oh that's my wee dog Luna yeah, so I've added some petals in as well which I do think um, helped add a bit more balance and also look more like flowers <laughs> anyway so this is me looking at different compositions to try and balance it um but i ended up settling on this and i think that um it it just did the job nicely because it looked like a table it gave it a nice straight edge and it the darkness of that Peace balanced out the flower heads. Anyway, thanks for watching.